Glory, hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Royal priesthood, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome back to All Things Possible, prophetic brand with yours truly, Prophetess Seeker Esther Grace. I pray that all is well. I pray that you had an enjoyable weekend. I didn't realize um, until probably like Saturday that the Super Bowl weekend, if I'm not mistaken, I'm really not into Super Bowl. It's not a sin. It's just I'm not a football person. I'm more of a basketball person. So I hope that you all enjoyed everything with your families and the fellowship as much as you can. I know that we're still in this pandemic practicing social distancing. And so you, a lot of people are gathering with the people that they are always around just to keep it safe. But nevertheless, I have an amazing word from the Lord for you, especially for those of you who have allowed everyone else to use you but the Lord. You have allowed people, you have allowed situations, circumstances, you have allowed family members, you have allowed uh, significant others to use you knowingly and unknowingly. Now it's time to allow the spirit of the Lord to use you for the purpose that which you was called for, for such a time as this. Father God, we praise you, we magnify you, we glorify you, we lift up the name of Jesus. Jesus, you said, if you be lifted up, you will draw all men unto you. So we stop right now and we lift you up. We ask that you anoint us afresh, open up our hearts and our minds, oh God. We ask that you clear our spirit so we can hear what you have to say and give us the grace and the courage in a time like this, to be used by you for the upbuilding of your kingdom and for the glory of you. This is the year of the launching for many in very aspects, oh God. You've given me this word for 2021. And I just pray that for those who this word is for, that they will be enlightened and encouraged and go forth and allow the spirit of the Lord to launch that purpose within them. For such a time as this, in Jesus' name, I pray. I'm going to give you two scriptures, which is Jeremiah 29 and 11, Philippians 2 and 13. I'm going to be reading Jeremiah 29 and 11 from the New International Reader's Version. I know the plans I have for you, announces the Lord. I want you to enjoy success. Glory be to God. Philippians 2 and 13. I'm going to be reading this from the Amplified Version. For it is not your strength, but it is God who is effectively at work in you, both to will and to work. That is strengthening, energizing and creating in you the longing the longing and the ability to fulfill your purpose for his good pleasure. See, God supports us as believers. See, he wants us to be successful. It's not his will that we be in lack. It's not his will that we be struggling. He wants us successful. But it is uh, the believer's responsibility. It is our responsibility to do what uh, he or she has been called by God to do. See, uh, Last week, I, I came from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. This is the will of God for you. And, 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 and that is to rejoice always, uh, uh, to pray continually, to give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. But your purpose is something different. But it's in comparison to being in the will of God. Well, what do you mean by that, prophetess? This is what I mean. You have been designed, handpicked by God, chosen by God to fulfill a purpose on earth that no one else can do but you. You have been anointed and graced by God to reach an audience, to reach a people, to reach a nation. And no one else can do it but you. 
and how, well, well, okay, I hear about purpose and I hear about being in the will of God. Well, how do I know? And let me say this as a disclaimer. Everybody's not a prophetess. Everybody's not a prophet. Everybody's not a pastor. Everybody's not evangelist. Everybody's not going to stand in the uh, four, four, um, four walls and hold a mic. Your purpose may be to, to be a school teacher. Your purpose may be to be a lawyer. Your purpose may be to be a judge. Your purpose may be to open that family business so that you can begin that legacy and, 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 and God can be able to have generations after you to be blessed. Your purpose may be to be a mother to that child, to raise those children under a godly uh, a household and, and, and imparting them the wisdom and love of God and teach them how to be godly, good citizen. Whatever your purpose is, you have to go to the one who has created you. I thank God for leadership. I thank God for my team. I thank God for my support system. But there are questions for uh, about me that only God can answer. My mother can't answer it. My father can't answer it. And my sisters can't answer. It. It's only God. And that way it won't be no confusion. I will know without a shadow of a doubt that this is God's purpose for me. It is his purpose that I preach and teach the word of the Lord. It is his purpose for me that I walk in the office of a prophetess, that I fulfill the mandate of this call on my life. And how I came about to know his purpose is by knowing him. And once I start knowing him and in relationship with him and spending time with him and in allowing him to cultivate me and I'm still on the potter's wheel you all we're in this together that's when he revealed to me and confirmed it through several people that he called me in this office but he first revealed it to me he first gave it to me and then in return he he uh confirmed it to many people so I'm encouraging you all today this word is not for everyone. I would love it for uh, for this word to be for everyone, but it's not. But, you know, there's many people that are tuned in and I thank you for your support. But there are many of you all who have let everyone else use you. You let everyone use you. You let their job, you let their supervisor, you let the kids, you know, and so on and so forth. Now it's time to let the Lord use you. For that God-given purpose that will produce much success that you have been created for, for such a time as this. Let's go a little bit deeper. To be like Christ, we must train ourselves to think like Christ. To change our desires to more like Christ. We need the power of the indwelling spirit that, that comes from Philippians 1 verse 19, the influence of faithful Christians, obedience to God's word, not just exposure to it, but obedience to it and a sacrificial service. Often it is in doing God's will that we gain the desire to do it. I'm going to say that again. Often in doing God's will. Often it is in doing God's will that we gain the desire to do it. That comes from Philippians 4 verse 8 through 9. Do what he wants and trust him to change your desires. I can tell you right now, being very transparent with you, I did not want this. I was okay with being a doorkeeper. I was okay with being a financial supporter in the household of God. I was okay with occasionally speaking and giving words of encouragement. I was really okay with being behind the scenes. I, if anybody could tell you that knows me, know I'm a behind the scene type of person. And I love to encourage and I love to support and I like to cheer you on. And I like to pull your gifts and your anointing out of you and tell you to go forth. But when it came to, gra to grabbing a mic or being in front of people, I was not the first one to raise my hand and say, Lord, it is me. Send me. No, I struggled with this call on my life for years. I ran from this office for years. I was in the church in God, uh, I'm still, you know, attending church and, and, and loving on God, but yet running, 
I did not want it because I knew the responsibility that came with it. I knew the weight of this call because this is a a, 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 a legacy within my my family. It's it's uh, we're called uh, we got prophets and prophetess and apostles and pastors and intercessors, but it's a prophetic mantle that's heavy on my mother's side as well on my father's side. It's heavy, and I saw with uh, those who walked in this office, I saw what they had to endure. But I was allowing fear to overtake me, and I was allowing the the voice of the enemy to overtake me, and and honestly, I allowed unnecessary hardship to come upon me because I was not walking in obedience. I was not walking in my purpose. I was doing everything else but God, what God had called me to do and calling it God. So I just want to encourage whoever is listening. I know that this word is for many. I want you to really take some time out and seek the Lord about your purpose. God working through you. The, the, the purpose what he's designed for you for such a time as this, because one of the prophetic words that's being released for 2021, as well as redemption and restoration. He's been doing a lot of talking to me about that is launching. He's ready to launch his people. He's ready to launch us to go forward into the things of God, even in this time of crisis, even in this time of pandemic. Because see, when God hand is on it, you can automatically guarantee that it's going to be successful. I'm not saying that every road is going to be easy, but it will be successful and he will be faithful to see you through to the very end. He will open doors for you that no man can open and he will shut the doors that need to uh, be shut. He will give you the provision and the favor that you need to do the things that he called you to do. I am a living witness. I'm living in it right now. So I just pray that you be encouraged men and women of God. And I just pray that you find your purpose for what God has called you to do. And please, whatever you do, do not think that it's mediocre because everybody wants the, 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 you know, the spotlight for whatever reason. I'm not going to say everybody. But too many people want the spotlight and want to be in the pulpit and want to, you know, prophesy fire down and all this stuff. But I'm telling you, just stick to what he's calling you to do. You can start by opening your heart and your mind. You can start by praying to him and saying, Father, I want to know your will for my life. I want to know your purpose for my life. We know that the foundational will is 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18. That's for every believer. But the purpose where you were tailor made for the specific call that's on your life. I pray that you seek him this year and allow him to launch you and prepare you as he launched you so that your legacy can be built for your children and your children, children. And remember, Jesus is Lord. God bless you.